their worst time ever. Matching their all-time longest losing streak. They've drooped in their first three on home ice, though they've led in two of them three to two, and that matches for the fourth time their longest losing streak at home. Before tonight's game, the Jackson Moncton, our national anthems. <laughs> live from the Baltimore Arena. We're all set for first period action. The Skip Jacks in search of that elusive initial victory of the campaign after absorbing seven consecutive defeats and the Moncton Hawks, an upstart aggregation, rookie laden, primarily influenced with the uh, collegiate persuasion. In Goldwar left will be Steve Penny for the Hawks. In Goldwar right for the Jacks will be Mike Sands. All ready to go. Elaine Lemieux for the Jacks. Guy LaRose, the son of Hartford Whalers assistant coach Claude LaRose from the faceoff. At the Moncton line, Hervé across on the left defense for Roger Ullman in the middle at center for LaRose. He sends it in behind the Jacks goal, tracked down by the big truck, Greg Tebbett. Up on left wing at his old line for Thomas in the middle at center for Lemieux. Exploding into the Moncton line, shooting right on. Penny the save, it skimmed off his catching glove. And the puck squirmed ever so dangerously behind him in the crease. And Penny's weight of his body happened to be leaning in that direction. And he just sprawled on top of it. Lemieux with a cannonading drive as he unleashed it. After he strode in over the uh, Moncton line, they trapped Matt Hervé, committing himself at the right point at the Jacks line. Faceoff will be left of uh, Steve Penny. Moncton goal, 19 seconds gone, barely underway for first period action. Scoreless, Lemieux for the Jacks, LaRose, the veteran, and the rookie. One by Guy LaRose. Delivering it behind the goal for Matt Hervé. Snapping it around the left wing boards for LaRose. Left it there for Hughes up the boards for LaRose. At center for Gord Whitaker. Spilled by DeFazio. And DeFazio in front of the goal. Ahead manned over two lines on left wing to Tim Thomas. At the center red line. No further play. We played 35 seconds of the opening period. 
and it's one nothing. Skip, or pardon me, and the game is scoreless. The faceoff will be barely inside the uh, Jacks line. The origination of Dean DeFazio's ill-fated clearing pass. DeFazio has been transplanted back to the defense tonight. Now Wayne Grew will center. Britt Peer and Doug Shedd, and the latter without a goal in his last five games on this forward combination for GM coach Gidu Briaco. From the faceoff, the puck skips along the skipjack right wing boards. Digging it after it is Grew after he shouldered Dury, but contained at the left point. The shot by Fleckle right on, caught by Sand, skids in behind the goal. On it is Grew. Grew behind the goal. Jammed by the Moncton player, Schneider. But covering up in the left corner is Ian Armstrong. In the middle at center for Shedden. He was stumped by Flickle. Controlled, though, at the line by Shedden. Shedden for Grew still on the line. Stolen by Jeffrey. Now Jeffrey sends Schneider charging after it. Behind the ball, the more goal. Je uh, Schneider centered it. That was blocked by Pierre, who springs to center. Britt Pierre over the Moncton line. Right circle for Grew with a shot. Kicked out by Penny with Shedden crashing the crease. Dug out left corner by Groove. Grew to the left point for Corrales. Shooting right on. Had save Penny. The rebound control by Grew in the right circle for Shedden. Top of the circle for Grew with a shot. Knocked out in front on the defense by Ron Passetti and then gloved by the uh, Moncton players, Scott Schneider, the rookie from Colorado College. No further play. Played a minute 42 of the opening period and we're scoreless from the Baltimore Arena. The faceoff will unfold, circle left to Penny in the uh, Moncton goal. It'll be Eve Haru for the Jacks in the faceoff opposing uh, Len Nielsen. Nielsen with 100 assists last season with Regina in the Western Junior League. From the faceoff, in the Baltimore zone on the right boards, Hoover to clear to center zone. Control there by Bobby Dallas. And Dallas, the three-year veteran on left wing, whipped it back into Jack's territory, but monked it as well offside. Dallas is one of three former number one draft choices of Winnipeg gracing this Moncton roster. The faceoff will be barely to the Jack side of the center red line across the way from us on their right wing. Eve Haru centering for Michael Holmes and Terry Perkins on this combination for the Jacks. Hawks control at their own line. On the left defense, Dallas. Evades the check of Haru. Backhanding behind the Jacks goal. Covering up behind the goal. Hoover, he lost his balance. It's centered in front by Nielsen. The Gillen shot struck the side of that as Hoover lost his balance trying to control behind the goal. Moncton controls all the way back in its own zone. On the left side, Len Nielsen at center. Drove it into the Jacks' left corner. Covering his home to drop back to cover the carom in front of the onrushing Randy Gillen. Along the left boards for Don McGrath, who just steers aimlessly to an open wing to the Moncton line. Corral down the left defense by Bobby Dallas. Now Dallas, shadowed by Haru, hounded by Haru, who squeezed him along the boards. Poked in behind the goal by Perkins, who was trailing. Covering behind the goal, though, is Dallas around the left wing boards. For Schneider, he was checked by McGrath, pinching him from the point. It comes all the way into the Baltimore zone. Charging after it on the right side is Whitaker. His centering pass deflected away and back come the Jacks. Lemieux at center zone. He does a pirouette as they're changing. Ahead for DeFazio, shy of the Moncton line on left wing. He drove it in behind the Moncton goal. Covering up is Ullman in front of Thomas. He drove it around the left wing board to the Baltimore line. DeFazio controls for Tebbit. Greg Tebbett center circle over the Moncton line for Lomo. Lomo tried to nudge that one into the corner and failed to do so as Hervé was on his back to clear to center zone. From there, DeFazio on left wing. Fired it into the Moncton left corner. Covering the carom is Roger Ullman. Across to the right boards for Whitaker. Checked by Thomas behind the goal for Lemieux. Right in front for Lomo with a shot. A great save by Penny. Rebound control by Ullman. He drove it to the Jacks line. Tebbett will control on the right defense. Up the boards for Lomo coming back. Byron Lomo across on left wing at center for DeFazio. DeFazio's pass is airborne. Batted with a stick raised above the shoulder at center zone by Guy Rose on the Moncton right wing. No further play. 16-12 left first period. Game scoreless. And a moment ago, Elaine Lemieux whirled to the back of the goal and to the side of the goal. And he slipped. A uh, streamlined centering pass in front of Byron Lomo was robbed point-blank range by the flexing right pad of Steve Petty. 
From the face of inside Moncton territory, Flickle, the rookie from Bowling Green, will control on the left defense. Across on the right side for Ron Pacetti. He's from Western Michigan University. Pacetti lashed it in behind the Jacks goal, covering his sands. He drove it around the boards. Up on left wing at his own line for Wayne Grew. Grew to center, stroking it around the Moncton backboard to the right side for Shedden. Delivering it behind the goal for Grew. Right in front for Peer. Checked neatly by Schneider. They stream out three abreast. Schneider to center at the Baltimore line. Schneider in the left circle. He centered in front. And Grew hurried back and broke that up. Was dug out the right corner by Schneider. He centered in front. Blocked by McGrath. And fired down ice for the left circle by Britt Peer. Reached behind the Moncton goal by Todd Flickle. And the Skipjacks are charged for icing. A break in the action. 15-20 left first period. Jacks nothing. Moncton nothing on the Skipjacks. Hockey Network. Face off right of Sands, Jack's goal. One by the Moncton player Gillen, but it skids all the way back into Skipjack territory. Perkins steals in the corner from Huskin. Centered in front, Haru fired. What a save by Penny. Back comes Moncton. Gillen at center, firing right on. Caught by Sands behind the goal for McGrath. His clearing pass halted at the left point by Dallas. His shot was blocked in front by a sprawling Tim Hoover. Controlled at the Jacks line on the left wing by Michael Holmes. Holmes to center at the Moncton line. Shooting right on. Pad save Penny. Rebound left corner for Haru. Centering in front. The Perkins shot was deflected harmlessly away by Dallas. Back comes Moncton. On right wing at center, Lavasur over the ball to the line. He centered it through the crease into the left corner for Gillen. Gillen to the right point for Herbie with a shot. He glanced it off the side of the net. The puck kangaroos into the Jacks left corner. Covering Hoover. Around the backboards on right wing for Terry Perkins. Checked by Gillen, but covering McGrath. McGrath on left wing at center for Holmes. At the Moncton line for Lemieux. Off his stick in the direction of the front of the goal. Covering up Hervey. Directing it out of harm's way away from the onrushing shadowing Elaine Lemieux. Behind the goal for Omen. Omen for Moncton on left wing at his own line for Len Nielsen. Nielsen from center. Drove it into the Jacks left corner. Thomas covers the caramel away from Gord Whitaker. Now Tim Thomas for the Jacks. A long lead on left wing at center for Lemieux. Beyond his outstretched stick all the way to the goaltender Penny. Penny leaves behind the goal for Hervey. Now Hervey around the left wing boards. At his own line for Hughes. Hughes to center at the ball door line. Shooting muffled by Tebbett. Now Hughes stole it though in the circle from Lomo. Right in front for Whitaker. And it was swept away by Thomas to the left boards for Lemieux at his own line. And the Jacks are away. Lemieux from center drove it off the Moncton backboards into the circle for Lomo. Shooting. Penny sealed the angle. Rebound left corner for Lemieux. Right in front for Thomas. The backhander was weak. Blocked by Ullman. It's three on two. Moncton at center. It's Schneider over the ball to the line. Brick wide to the left circle. The shot by Hughes deflected away. Back come the Jacks. Lemieux in the middle at center for Tebbett. His shot was right on. Penny the save. The rebound deep in the Moncton right corner for Nielsen. Across to the left circle for Flickle. Flickle fired to center. Ian Armstrong wrapped it right back in behind the Moncton goal from right wing. Covering up for Moncton. On the defense is Ron Pacetti. Across to the left boards for Flickle. Up the boards. At center, the pass was knocked back to the line by Armstrong, covering Pacetti. Now around Pacetti at center circle. Drove it behind the Jacks goal. Tracked down by Armstrong around the left boards for Peer. Peer was jolted rudely by Fowler. Then Fowler was retaliated on by Peer, where they cracked him lustily. The puck skims in behind the goal. They jostle for it vigorously. It's centered in front. They score. I believe it was Rob Fowler. He swooped in behind the goal and centered it right off the pad of Sands into the net. Mike Sands never reacted. Moncton leads 1-0. He just swooped in behind the goal. Rob Fowler, the rookie from Merrimack College, the Division II school. He swooped in behind the goal and from the side of the goal, 
He centered it right off the pad of a completely unsuspecting goaltender, Mike Sands, at 741. It'll be Fowler probably unassisted, and for Rob Fowler, his first pro goal. He's the rookie from Merrimack College, Moncton and Moncton has assumed a 1-0 lead. Assisted by number 12, Peter now from the faceoff. Covering behind the goal is McGrath for the Jacks, leading at his own line for Shedden. Shedden was bumped on the defense as he deflects it in behind the goal. Covering up for Moncton on the right side is Huskin banking it off the board to center. Shedden from center circle returns it into Moncton territory. Covering behind the goal, Dallas. Around the right boards for Gillen. Gillen jostled by Pierre who falls, and back comes Moncton. Hoover is trapped. It's Gillen at center of the ball. We're for Jeffrey right in front for Gillen with a shot. The save by Sands. Rebound across to the left boards for Gila Rose. He swoops in behind the goal with Sands crawling to the right side of the crease, but he failed to center it as Hoover was there. Now Hoover in the corner. He was checked. It's centered in front by a Huskin. That shot was right on. Sands the save. The rebound in the right circle. Corral by Shedden. And Doug Shedden just floats it to the Moncton zone to alleviate pressure. Jamie Huskin on the Moncton defense. He just wrapped it in behind the Jacks goal. Covering up for the Jacks is Don McGrath. Around the boards on left wing for Holmes. Michael Holmes at his own line. Rink on right wing at center for Shedden. Wrapped it in behind the Moncton goal as he was crunched along the boards clamorously by Lavasseur. Now Chris Lavasseur at his own line leading for Nielsen. Len Nielsen from center. Drove it in behind the Jacks goal. Sands sets it up for DeFazio. He cleared the line. Contained left point by Roger Ullman. Ullman drove it around the skipjacks backwards into the right corner. Dug out there by Lavasseur. His pass behind the goal. Halt to by Tevin up the boards at his own line for uh, Perkins. Now Terry Perkins at center zone for the Jacks. At the Moncton line on left wing for Haru. Right in front for Holmes. It jumped over his stick into the crease and it's pounced down by Penny on the short side of the Moncton goal. No further play. A break of the action. 10-25 left first period. Moncton one. Jacks nothing on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Now from the face of Ron Facetti, she seeking shelter with it behind the Moncton goal, shadowed in front by Eve Haru. Dish into the left corner for Todd Flickle, the rookie from Bowling Green. His pass stolen at the line by Holmes with a shot. Penny the save with Haru streaking past the doorstep. Puck dug out in the right corner by Holmes. Side of the goal for Terry Perkins. Perkins centered in front for Haru, checked by Pacetti. The point shot by Tebbett was wide, and back comes Moncton. On right wing at center, Brent Hughes over the ball, the line working on Tebbett. The shot from the top of the left circle, then sends the save. The rebound to the right side of the goal, and Greg Tebbett just lofts it over the glass into the crowd at the Jacks' right wing boards inside their line. No further play. Rob Fowler is credited with the goal, and they have awarded two assists to Scott Schneider and Peter Dory at 741. Fowler's first on a wraparound from the side of the goal after he uh, just swooped in behind the goal unguarded and unnoticed and he just drove the puck off the pad of Sanders seen the pinball between his pads and just crawl into the cage. Face off circle right of Sands Jack's goal. It'll be Lemieux for the Jacks. Keela Rose for a it on the face off. All ready to go, waiting for the linesman, Steve Horney, one more time. Sticks come down. Puck not dropped. Now it is. One by Lemieux, corralled in the circle by Corrales. Now Corrales from behind the goal, around the left wing boards for Tim Thomas at his own line. In the middle at center for Lemieux, that one really whispered, terribly weak, and it's returned behind the goal by uh, the Moncton left winger, Bob Fowler. Controlled on the Jacks left wing boards by Corrales. Now Corrales inside the line, jammed by LaRose, who poked it back behind the Jacks goal, scraped off the backboards by Armstrong. He drove it around the boards, contained on the left point by Ullman as he was being muscled by Lomo. Now the Ullman point shot is high and wide. 
Rebound along the Jacks left wing board, swept to center circle by Tim Thomas. Holman controls from there, he reaching the ball to Orlein, but offside in the center avenue for Moncton was Gila Rose. No further play. Gila Rose is a former 11th round draft of the Buffalo Sabres in 1985. He was obtained by Winnipeg and assigned to Moncton. He is the son of Hartford Whalers assistant coach and former Montreal Canadiens right wing Claude LaRose who played on many Stanley Cup championship teams with the Canadiens. Guy LaRose played his junior hockey with Guelph in the OHL Junior A. From the faceoff, corralled in the Jacks right circle by Ian Armstrong. Armstrong in the middle at center for Tim Thomas. Now Thomas at the bunk to the line for Brian Lomo. And that was uh, interrupted on the defense by Matt Hervey. And Hervey, uh, Hervey just uh, rifled it off the, I think someone on the skipjack bench, and it skidded back out of the ice, and that stops action. 8.56 left first period, 1-0 Moncton. Fowler from Dory and Schneider at 7.41. No penalties to mar the period thus far. Jacks have outshot the Hawks 10-4. From the faceoff. Breaking out of the pack with it at center zone is Mike Jeffrey reaching the ball toward line in the circle. Drummed to the ice by Armstrong. Lomo collides with Schneider, but the ladder centers it to the right point. The Hervé shot through a force of legs. Knocked down on the defense by Thomas. Ahead for Lomo at center at the Moncton line for Lemieux. And Byron Lomo is offside on of left wing on the crisscross. No further play. A break on the action, 8.34, that first period, Moncton 1, Jacks nothing on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. This is where we miss an organ. No organ, everything's dead. The team's down by a goal. It's not. Now from the faceoff, chased down in skipjack territory in the left circle by Tim Hoover. Now Hoover will operate from behind the goal, pulling up sharply. Up on left wing at his own line for Jean-Francois No at the Moncton line. No wheels to the right board, still has it, pulling up inside the line. His rink-wide pass right on the stick of Dory. Now Peter Dory to center. At the Baltimore line and right wing, the drop pass, top of the circle for Passetti, and his shot was wide. The rebound. Failing to contain it at the left point as Flicko poked through his legs to the Moncton line by Britt Peer for the Jacks. Control there by Nielsen. Up on left wing at center back for Flickle who drove it in behind the Jacks goal. Sands lost his balance in an ill-fated attempt to blockade it there. It squirms to the left circle though and Doug Shedden is waiting for it. Now Shedden for the Jacks. Thundering to center on right wing. Wrapped it in behind the Moncton goal. Penny the goaltender himself. Drove it around the boards. Halted in the right circle by Peer. Britt Pierre, though, was checked in his tracks by Nielsen, monked it away. Nielsen across on right wing at center for Dory. He sends the puck skimming into the jack zone. Corralled in front of the goal by Tebbett. Up on right wing at his own line for Shedden. Shedden just drifts it aimlessly to an open wing at the Moncton line as the jacks are changing. Controlled on the Moncton left defense by Dallas. Bobby Dallas from center. Drove it around the skip jacks backboards all the way to the left side. DeFazio will drop it off there for Michael Holmes at his own line. Holmes up the boards at center for Perkins coming across, leaving for Tebbett at the center red line trailing. And Tebbett just poked it into Moncton territory, which controlled by Huskin across on the left defense for Dallas. At center for Gillen behind Tebbett over the ball to line. Gillen from the circle. The shot sends the scene. The rebound in front. And Schneider fired it wide with Sands sprawling across the crease. And back come the Jacks. Terry Perkins at center over the Moncton line for Haru right in front for Holmes with a shot. And Jamie Huskin bodied Holmes and deflects it over the glass into the crowd on the Hawks' defense. No further play. 6.35 left for first period action. It's Moncton 1. The Skipjacks nothing. Jacks uh, really uh, launched the action tonight on a high note. They were dominating. They've outshot Moncton 10 to 5, but the Rob Fowler goal at 7.41 has... Uh, really uh, dispirited them, really fractured their momentum. The faceoff once play resumes after they've repaired some faulty ice, uh, barely inside the uh, left side of the crease of goaltender Steve Benny, Penny, 
will be a rim of the circle right of the Moncton goaltender. Haru for the Jacks, opposing Gila Rose for the Hawks. All ready to go, waiting for the linesman Rick Zerbe. They draw swords, one by Haru, guiding it to the left point for Corrales with a shot. Kicked out by Penny with Haru, parked in front. The rebound to the left boards. Holmes shoots, he scores! Michael Holmes, Jacks high at 1-1. Michael Holmes tight to the left boards along the hash mark. And he sees the rebound and the moment. And he drove a heavy shot that seemed to baffle Steve Penny. It deflected off his pads and nestled in the cage behind him. Michael Holmes, third of the campaign. He was assigned by the New York Rangers. They credited the goal to Eve Heru. We'll see if that goal is changed. I'm sure it will be. It was Holmes who fired. They have credited the goal to Heru, but I'm certain it was Michael Holmes. It'll probably be Holmes from Heru and Corrales at 13:32. It was Holmes along the left hash mark tight to the boards that directed the shot toward the goal, and it deflected off the pad of Penny and nestled in behind Moncton's rather flustered and frustrated goaltender. It's a one-all tie. From the face-off, that puck was raked off the boards and struck the linesman at the Moncton line. The clearing pass was made by Ron Facetti. It dropped Rick Zerbe like the proverbial 10-pin, but he's bounced back out of skates. And we'll have a face-off barely outside the Moncton blue line. They will probably alter the goal to Holmes third and his first at home from Haru and Corrales at 13.32. Well, it's a one-all tie, 6.09 left for first period action. The two teams trading goals in uh, just under six minutes. Now Hervey at the top of his own right circle on the Moncton defense. Across crisply on the left side for Omen. In the middle at center for Dory, reaching the Baltimore line, shouldered by McGrath, who drove it back into Moncton territory. Claimed in the right circle by Hervey, chased deep in the uh, corner by a four-checking Doug Shedd. Now Matt Hervey in the middle at center for Randy Gillen. He flutters it in on goal, caught by Sand, steering behind the goal for Holmes around the right boards for Shedden. Shedden jammed by Ullman, pinching in from the point. Along the boards go, Lemieux fleeced it off the stick of Gillen, and he head it to Doug Shedden in the middle at center, but Shedden was tripped just shy of center circle by the uh, Moncton player. Roger Ullman at 14:27, And the Skipjacks will be presented the game's first power play with 5.33 remaining for opening period action. And the Jacks have recently uh, equalized matters on the Michael Holmes goal from Haru and Corrales at 13:32. Ullman for Moncton, the rookie, the uh, Finnish rookie at 14:27 is charged for tripping. The Jacks power play is six for 53 that's the worst in the league as far as percentile of proficiency is concerned now tim thomas curls back to his own line across on right wing at center lomo beyond him in behind the moncton goal corral there by dallas firing it past thomas at the left point to center zone thomas is checked there by nielsen on left wing and len nielsen sends it the rest of the way behind the jacks goal thomas to peel back for it now Tim Thomas at his own line, left it for Tevin and back for Thomas up on left wing at center. Thomas for Lemieux at the uh, Moncton line. Lemieux curls back to center. The Jacks' passes have been terribly weak. Now Lemieux dances in over the Moncton line along the left wing boards. Elaine Lemieux pulls up, leaves it on the left point for Thomas. Another weak pass, intending it on a return to Lemieux. That was halted by LaRose who drove it into Baltimore territory. And the Skip Jacks' passing is anemic. Now Tebbit, speaking of anemic passes, just uh, head manned aimlessly into the wilderness to an open wing where Bobby Dallas on left wing just flung it into the Baltimore zone. But fortunately for the Jacks, the Hawks are offside. 439 left first period, 106 for the Jacks power play. And the game is deadlocked at 1-1.
the Skipjacks passing tonight has been futile. Their passes have been terribly anemic, very weak, very marshmallowy. Uh, they've absolutely whimpered. Face them outside the uh, Baltimore Blue Line across the way from us on the Jacks' right wing. From the faceoff, control back at the Moncton line on the right defense by Ron Facetti. And Facetti just fires it off the boards, down ice. Ian Armstrong to round the Jacks net, leading on right wing for Peer at his own line. Britt Peer in the middle at center for Elaine Lemieux, who jitterbugs in over the Moncton line. And Terry Perkins is offside on the left wing boards. No further play. This is very, very maddening. A team has a power play, and yet they are continually, repeatedly offside. Faceoff will be outside the Moncton blue line, below us on the Jacks' right side, 421 for the period, and 48 seconds remaining in an absolutely desolate Skip Jacks power play. From the faceoff, the puck eludes Tebbit at center all the way into the Jacks' zone. Now Sands with Armstrong behind the goal. They didn't communicate. Armstrong topples into the backboards heavily. He's upright again, and fortunately the puck comes back to him. Now Armstrong on right wing in his old line for Pierre. He turned it over to Gillen. Gillen wheels to the right circle, poked off his stick by Tebbit. Now Greg Tebbit leads on left wing at center for Perkins across that right wing for Pierre over the Moncton line. Pierre into the corner, drove it around the backboards to an open wing. Covering Dory. Dory for Moncton in the middle at center for Gillen around McGrath over the Baltimore line. Gillen for the left circle, shooting. And Tebbett rushed across and deflected that one harmlessly into the corner where Terry Perkins controls. The power play is over. Perkins across on the left defense for Tebbett around the backwards on right wing at his own line for Don McGrath. And McGrath just directs it aimlessly into Moncton territory. Bobby Dallas will retreat with it behind the goal. Up on left wing at his own line for Nielsen. Len Nielsen avoids the check of Gru. Nielsen to center. It's the Baltimore line snapping the shot right on. Caught by Sands. He directs it into the left corner. Controlled by Hoover. Hoover up the boards at center for Gru. Wayne Gru darts it to the Moncton line with a shot. Right on. Penny the save. It nearly handcuffed him. Covering beyond the goal is Huskin on the Moncton defense. Leading for Dallas. Bobby Dallas on left wing at center. Drove it in behind the Moncton. There the Jacks goal is Lomo. Really dumped Hughes at the Baltimore line. At the Jacks line, McGrath. In the middle of center for No. At the Moncton line on right wing for Gru. Beyond him, right under the stick of awaiting uh, Bobby Dallas on the left defense, and he drove it into the Baltimore zone. Lomo to control there at his own line. Byron Lomo through center, hits the Moncton line. Lomo tried to uh, swoop past. Huskin on the defense, and Huskin spun him around. But it's contained on the left point by Hoover. Right in front for it all, and he fired it wide. The rebound deep in the left circle. Grew fired it through the crease. What Lomo sent cartwheeling on the defense. The rebound to the right point. Tevin shoots. Deflected by Lomo. Score! Byron Lomo, the Jacks lead. Two to one. Delayed penalty coming up to Jamie Huskin after he sent the skipjack player. Byron Lomo, Kirk wheeling in the crease, but Lomo very resiliently bounced back on his skates. And as the puck swarmed back to center point, Greg Tebbett really raked the rocket, and Lomo upright, spinning in front of the goal, deflected it home. Lomo's third. His second in as many games from Tebbit and Jean-Francois at 1748, although it should be Wayne Gru. It was the Gru shot that sailed across the crease. It should be Lomo from Tebbit and Gru. From the face up behind the Moncton goal, Roger Ullman snaps it crisply. Up on left wing at center. They drive it in behind the Baltimore goal, 134 with a period, and the Jacks have seized a 2-1 lead on two goals and 216 at center zone. Eve Haru hits the Moncton line, left it on the right boards for Shedden with a shot, and he fired it wide. Rebound along the Moncton right boards for Schneider. In the middle at center, Schneider for Mike Jeffrey, who hits the Baltimore line with a shot. Stick save Sands, but it doesn't matter. 
Attention. The Golden Flames, Scott Schneider was offside on right wing, no further play. A break of the action, 115 left first period. It's Jacks 2 and Moncton 1 on the Skipjacks Hockey Network. Scoring is terrible tonight. It was Groose pass, right? He's the one that sailed it across the crease. goal is that Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live with the Baltimore Arena 104 left for first period action and the Skipjacks have surmounted the early 1-0 deficit and struck with a pair of goals 216 apart they credited the first goal to Eve Haru but I'm certain they'll change it to Michael Holmes from Haru and Corrales at 1332 and then at 1748 with a delayed penalty fourth coming to Moncton's Jamie Huskin Byron Lomo deflected on the Greg Tebbett point shot that emanated from center point Lomo from Tebbett and Wayne grew at 1748. Jackson outshot Moncton 14-6 and they lead 2-1 and from the faceoff, Terry Perkins was sent nose diving in the right hash mark right in front of the Moncton goaltender Steve Penny and the uh, Hawks penalty box door swings open and Roger Ullman will be banished for the second time in this period. Elaine Lemieux controlled the faceoff and he delivered it to the right hash mark right in front of the Moncton goal and as Perkins was uh, cradling it as Terry Perkins was uh, corralling it he was uh, rudely uh, sent nose diving by Omen. Omen two minutes tripping his second such violation of the period at the 19 minute mark one minute left first period two to one Jack's on the come from behind trail successfully Face off rim of the circle left to Penny Moncton goal. One by Lemieux. Perkins reaches in for it. Delivers at center point for DeFazio coming across. To the right boards for Thomas. Drum to the ice by Moncton's Todd Blickle at center for Gillen. Gillen at the Baltimore line on the left wing. His shot deflected harmlessly behind the goal by Tebbett. Now Greg Tebbett will control it behind the goal with Elaine Lemieux fencing in the corner with Len Nielsen. Now Tebbett up on left wing at center for Terry Perkins. Ramping it in behind the Moncton goal. Chased down by Flickle. Flickle drove it around the boards. Tebbett contains at the right point. Greg Tebbett along the right side. Right in front for Thomas. He fanned out and it's loose at the doorstep. Perkins shoots. He scores! Terry Perkins power play goal. Jacks lead 3-1. to one. about five feet in front of the crease and falling to his knees he drilled it through Steve Penny the Jack seventh power play goal of the season and their third goal of this three goal first period Jack comeback attack in the span of six minutes and seven seconds the latter two goals 151 apart three to one Jack here's Guy Rose dashing in over the ball the world line Right in front for Schneider, jolted by Perkins, who hurried back. And from the Jacks' left wing boards at their own line, Tim Thomas declared a center where the horn will sound. Play the three goal barrage in 607. The latter two goals, 151 apart at 1748 and 1939 with only 21 seconds remaining in the period those latter two goals late in the stanza now Elaine Lemieux outside the Moncton line backhanding behind the goal streaking it after to Tim Thomas he drove it around the backboards right corner boards for Perkins now Perkins jammed in the corner by Omen Omen slipped it out of harm's way behind the goal for captain Randy Gillen now Gillen springs out of the pack on right wing at center drifts it to the skipjack line halted by Tebbett who had two assists in the opening period now Greg Tebbett at center, over the Moncton line for Perkins, left circle for Thomas with a shot, right through the crease, all the way across to the right point for Tebbett. Tebbett muscles his way deep into the circle on the right side, but he skidded off by Gillen, who cleared the line. Tim Thomas holds it in. He drove it in behind the goal from the left point, 
Covering up is Roger Ullman on the Moncton defense. Leading on left wing in his own line for Gillen. Gillen was cracked down by Shedden, but he headmans it in the middle at center by Huskin. Huskin drove it in behind the goal. Armstrong is on it around the left boards for Tim Thomas. His pass stolen at the line by Nielsen, but he was met head on by Armstrong on a strong defensive effort. Now Armstrong at his own line. Ian Armstrong. Badgered, harried by Dory, who forced him wide. Armstrong turned it over in the circle to Nielsen. Right in front for Fowler. Checked by a recovering Ian Armstrong. Contained right point, though. Best shot by Flickel. The arm save off the waffle board by Sands. The puck squirms into the right circle. Armstrong checked by a sprawling Rob Fowler. Fowler to the left point for Dallas with a shot. Right on. And Sands down on both knees with the stick save to smother it. No further play. 18-24 left, second period. 3-1 Jacks. Face off will unravel right of Sands. And the Baltimore goal. For the Jacks on the face off, it will be Alain Lemieux. And for Moncton, it'll be the rookie Guy LaRose. Lemieux and LaRose, 18-24 left middle period, 3-1 Jacks. The second period on home ice has been the Jacks' best period all season. They've outgoaled the opponents 4-3. From the faceoff, Lemieux won it behind the goal for McGrath as Hoover dumped LaRose for checking in front. McGrath drove it to center zone in the meantime where Ron Facetti sends it back in behind the Jacks' goal. McGrath took control on left wing and his whole line for Holmes. Michael Holmes in the middle of center for Haru. Checked by Pacetti, but seized by Shedden. Center circle at the Moncton line with a shot. And the Shedden shot is wide. Rebound into the right corner. Digging it after to Shedden. Doug Shedden delivering it behind the goal for Haru. Cracked by Omen. The two collide. It squirms in the left corner. Haru is on it. Now Haru left wing boards for Holmes. Michael Holmes was overpowered by Schneider, who romps to center. Scott Schneider over the ball to the on the right wing boards. Forced wide to the corner boards by Hoover. On a neat effort, covering behind the goal for the Jacks, Michael Holmes, leading on right wing in his whole line for Shedden. Now Doug Shedden inside the line on the right boards, just floats it to the Moncton line. Tracked down by Flickle, in pursuit is Haru. He forces Flickle to just relinquish it to center zone. We're on left wing, Tim Hoover drove it back into Moncton territory, but the Jacks four checkers are trapped offside. No further play. 17-14 left, middle period. 3-1 Skipjacks, and the face-off forthcoming, barely to the Moncton side of the center red line, across the way from us on the uh, Skipjack left wing. Wayne Groove for the Jacks will oppose Randy Gillen, the Moncton captain. Gillen, 36 goals to Sherbrooke uh, last season, 44 the year before that with Fort Wayne in the IHL, where he also led the league in game-winning goals with 10. From the face-off, it skips in behind the Jacks goal, covering his Tebbit. Around the right wing boards for Lomo. Up the boards at Senator Grew. He couldn't catch up with that as Flickel rushed across and rode him off. But trailing the play is Lomo. Lomo reaches the Moncton line. He was strong-armed on the defense by Dallas, and back comes Moncton. At the Baltimore line on right wing. The shot by Huskin was right on. Rebound in the left circle for Grew. Now Grew spun around at the line. It's still loose all the way to the left boards. Gillen wrapped it in behind the goal. The Jacks are starting to run amok in their own zone. Buck at the right wing boards. Tebbit is there in the corner. Jammed by Gillen, but dug out by Gru. And Wayne Gru, in utter desperation, just launches it over the glass into the crowd. Below us at the Skipjacks right wing boards. No further play. Boy, the Skipjacks were really beginning to run amok and a miss and loiter in their own zone. And Wayne Gru very alertly and very adroitly finally uh, recaptured the puck deep in the Jacks' right corner, and he just flung it into the crowd so that the uh, Skip Jacks would be uh, afforded the opportunity to reorganize. Face off circle left of Sands, make it circle the right of Sands, Jack School. Lemieux and Nielsen, the principals. One by Lemieux, kicking it into the right corner. A deftly for Armstrong. Behind the goal for Corrales. Around the left boards for Thomas at his own line. Jacks away at center. Tim Thomas drove it into the Moncton left corner. Bowman is there to cover the carom in front of Perkins. He cleared to the line, but Armstrong from the right point drove it in behind the goal. 
recovering from Moncton ahead of Lemieux on the defense. Pacetti, his clearing pass along the boards, deflected over the glass into the crowd. No further play. Ian Armstrong was pinching in at the right boards, but before the puck arrived uh, there, uh, it had sailed over the top of the glass into the crowd. So that'll prompt a face-off circle left of Penny in the Moncton goal. He played exactly four minutes in the middle period, and the Jacks on top, 3-1 to one on the strength of a three-goal barrage in 6:07 from 13:32 to 19:39 late in the opening period. The latter two goals, 151 apart with 2:12 left in the stanza. The Jacks once trailed 1-0 from the faceoff. The puck along the long to the left boards. They control Gila Rose at his own line. Scampering to center with a shot right on. Sands located that one in his radar screen and brought it down, delivering it to the left wing corner boards for Armstrong. We have a fight behind the Jacks goal. It's Tim Thomas for the Skipjacks and Matt Hervey for Moncton. Hervey is all over Thomas. He's pulled the jersey over his head. Thomas, therefore, was left to swing blindly in the direction of Hervey as the two tumble to the left side of the Jacks crease, forcing goaltender Sands to evacuate. Tim Thomas was rendered blind as Huskin just pulled the jersey over his head and Thomas uh, very, oh, now Hervey, as he was set to enter the penalty box, turned and was starting to charge out of the penalty box. He had to be physically dissuaded by the linesman, Steve Horney. Matt Hervey becoming somewhat unglued. Thomas was forced to swing blindly with the jersey pulled over his head by Hervey. Tim Thomas for the Jacks and Matt Hervey for Moncton. Our first uh, major uh, upheaval of the night and it occurs at 418 second period. A break on the action, 1542 left middle period. Jacks three, Moncton one on the skip jacks, hockey network. Joining you live from the Baltimore Arena, it appears that Matt Hervey has been ejected. He had entered the penalty box ever so briefly, and then he was starting to charge out of the penalty box as Tim Thomas was uh, sauntering by in the direction of the Baltimore penalty box. Hervey receives two minutes for instigating, five minutes for fighting, and a 10-minute misconduct. So the reason for Hervey's departure is that he has been the recipient of 17 minutes in penalties, and there's only 15.42 left of the period. So Hervey is through for the balance of this period, plus the first couple of minutes of a second, make a third period action. Hervey, two minutes instigating, five minutes fighting, 10 minutes misconduct, and the Jacks, Tim Thomas, the single five minute major for fighting at 4.18. The Jacks are presented their third consecutive power play of the night, they are one for two. Moncton has been devoid of such luxury. The face-off will originate barely inside the Jacks line, across the way from us on their left wing. Elaine Lemieux, Terry Perkins, a power play sharpshooter tonight, and Wayne Grew up front. Dean DeFazio and Greg Tebbett on the points. Grew's three power play goals are foremost on the club. And four of his Team I-5 goals have been produced here at home. From the face-off, Dean DeFazio, will backpedal behind the goal. He'll take the pass from Sands. Now to Fazio. Across on right wing in his own line for Grew. Up the boards at center for Lemieux. Stroked it in behind the Moncton goal. Digging it after it is Perkins. He centered one. Halted in front by Gillen, who hoists it over the head of a leaping Dean DeFazio at the left point. Down ice. Now to Fazio. Couldn't control all the left wing boards. He finally recaptured it. Now to Fazio at his own line for Grew. Now Wayne Grew wheels in the middle at center, feeding Perkins, who steps it over the Moncton line along the left wing, boards over, powering Flickle, centering it to the crease for Grew. 
A sprawling block by Dallas. It's dug out in the corner left side by Gru. Left point for DeFazio. In the circle for Gru. Now Wayne Gru centered it. Center point, Tebbett shoots. Penny the save. Rebound to the left point. DeFazio fired. Penny the save. The rebound in front jumped over the stick of Gru. Back comes Moncton. Len Nielsen to center. Reaching the ball to the line. Thumped by Perkins, but he returns it into his own zone on the right defense to Roger Ullman. Ullman's pass deflected off Perkins' to center zone. Gobbled up there by DeFazio, who reaches the Moncton line on the left wing by Mack Canny behind the goal. Covering up is Ullman. Ullman fired it off the left wing boards to center. Hurrying to retreat with urgency to Fazio in front of uh, Dory. Dory steals at the ball to the line. Dory right in front for the Rose, and Tebbett was there. And Greg Tebbett wraps it down ice to the Jacks. Still have 19 seconds of power play time. Covering behind the goal is Ullman. Ullman drove it off the left boards of the ball to the line. Backpedaling is Holmes. Michael Holmes across on the left side for Corrales, back the other way for Armstrong, up on right wing at center, Armstrong for Haru, hurrying in over the Moncton line, leaving in the circle for a trailing Doug Shedden, Shedden right in front for Holmes with a shot, a great save by Penny, the rebound in front, oh Holmes, Shedden shot, what a save by Penny, Shedden again centered it right through the crease, all the way to the right point for Armstrong with a shot, Penny the save with Haru in front, Rebound right boards for Holmes. Power play over. Holmes sends Shedden chasing after it behind the goal to the left point for Corrales. And he was checked there by Huskin. And it's fired down ice by Moncton's Ryan Facetti. Touched behind the goal by Ian Armstrong. Moncton charged with icing. 13-12 left middle period. Jacks three. Moncton one. And the Jacks closed the power play with a flourish, although it did not gain fruition. Boy, uh, Michael Holmes and Doug Shedd were absolutely robbed, point blank range, by the goaltending wizardry of Steve Penny. 13 12 left in the scoreless middle period. It's 3 uh, 1 skip Jacks. Jean Francois for the Jacks in the faceoff. Opposing Randy Gillen. Sticks come down. Puck not dropped. Gillen distraught with the linesman Horny. Who isn't? He won the face off behind the goal for Dallas. Leading on right wing at his own line for Huskin. Backhanding to center zone as Pier was forcing the issue. At center zone, here's Hughes over the ball to the line. He centered one in front. Blocked neatly by Hoover as he was surrounded by two Hawks. Contained on the right point by Flickle. The shot waffled it on goal through congestion. Sands gloved it on the short side. And we have a gathering of some uh, feisty and frisky humanity behind the Jacks goal as they pair off. Lomo and Huskin. Hoover and Gillen, and then there's the referee, Paul Stewart, overseeing the entire operation. The face-off will occur, circle left of Sands, Jack's goal, 12.53 left for second period action. The Jacks have limited the Moncton attack to a paltry nine shots on goal. Uncharacteristic for Skip Jack's goaltenders to receive uh, such a respite, shall we say. Sands has been seldomly tested tonight, and I'm sure he's enjoying this uh, much sought after luxury. From the faceoff, dug out deep in the Jacks' right corner by Peter Dory, jammed by Hoover, who wrapped him up robustly, and the Jacks are away. Byron Lomo to center. Drove it in behind the Moncton goal, scampering in after it, muscled in front of the goal by Ullman. They jostle for it as McGrath really barged in from the right point and muscled Whitaker contained it to the center point for it. Oh, his weak shot didn't make it through in front to Pierre and back comes Moncton. At center with the ball to the board line on the right side. The shot by uh, uh, Dory was wide. Puck in behind the Jacks goal. Hoover is on it, surrounded by Dory and Nielsen. Nielsen steals with a centering pass in front and Pierre was there. Grit Pierre to center, wraps it over the Moncton line, forced wide of the boards and muscled there. On the defense by Pacetti, but dug out behind the goal by Lomo lurking in the shadows. Right in front for DeFazio with a shot. Oh, Penny closed the door and pounced on top of that one with both knees, with both Jean-Francois No 
and Byron Lobo just hovering over the uh, Moncton uh, beleaguered goaltender. 11.58 left for second period action. Three to one Jacks. Face off forthcoming circle right of Steve Penny in the Hawks goal. All the game scoring confined to the opening stanza. The Jacks catapulting into the two goal bulge on the strength of a three goal unanswered Jack comeback attack. Elaine Lemieux for the Jacks in the face off opposing Moncton's Randy Gillen. Gillen controls behind the goal for Todd Blickle. Blickle in front of Lemieux around the right wing boards for Gillen who drove it to the line for Schneider jammed by DeFazio pinching in from the point in robust fashion. It squirms along the right wing boards and covering up as Blickle he drove it center circle and Tebbett was waiting for it there at the Moncton line for Lemieux. Lemieux drove it into the zone but covering up is Gillen. Gillen heads up the left side at center reaching the ball to the line knocked away by Tebbett but Tebbett's pass just uh, emanated from inside his own line on the right defense and traveled two lines where it was accepted by Doug Shedden and he's offside on right wing on the two line pass no further play 11 49 left second period three to one Jackson they've outshot Moncton 22 to 9 7 3 through the first 8 31 of second period action Eve Heru and Gila Rose on the faceoff. Jacks embark on an extended eight-game road trip after tonight, their longest road trip of the season. They will not be back home until November 13th, two weeks and two days from tonight, when they oppose Utica. Now from the faceoff, Shedden haul down Gord Whitaker at the top of the Jacks right circle, and Doug Shedden will be banished with the Skipjacks' first penalty of the night, and it occurs at 8.35 of the second period. Doug Shedden with his fourth minor penalty of the campaign. He's without a goal in his last five starts. After uh, initiating the season with a goal in each of his first two games. Shedden, two minutes for face-off hooking at 8.35. He and Gord Whitaker were vying for the face-off. And after the puck was dropped, uh, Shedden reached back with Whitaker stepping around him, bolting around him. And he just uh, hauled down Whitaker. Face off right of uh, Skipjack goaltender Mike Sands. Jacks have allowed seven power play goals against in the last two games, spanning 13 opportunities for the opponents, so their penalty killing outfit has been vulnerable. Lemieux won the face off, and from in front of the goal, Ian Armstrong to propel it masterfully down ice for the Jacks. Covering for Omonk, it is Ullman on right wing at center for Randy Gillen, dashing in over the ball to the line along the boards. He drove it around backboards, all the way to the left point for Ullman, holding it in. Ullman top of the left circle for Dory. Across to the right circle for Gillen. Gillen trying to center one in front for Dory. Knocked away by Tevin at the flex into the corner. Gillen is on it in front of Armstrong. Gillen comes off the boards, delivering it to the right point for Passetti. Passetti into the right corner for Gillen, who bolts right in front. He was spun around by Lemieux, but it's contained left point by Ullman. In the circle for Dory. Down low side of the goal. Now control back to the left point by Ullman with a shot. Knocked away by Armstrong in front. Dug outside of the goal by Gillen. Gillen centered it right through the crease and right past Ullman who didn't expect it at the left point all the way to the Moncton line. Ullman controls, wrapping to center. Roger Ullman over the ball to the line on the right boards. Checked by Holmes. Seized in the left corner by Tebbett. And Greg Tebbett flings it down ice. Right to the goaltender, Penny. Penny forces a sweep it away from the onrushing Terry Perkins, but trailing in the right corner is Michael Holmes. Holmes just steers it deeper in behind the goal. 34 seconds for the power play, 9.59 for the period. Monked it underway at center zone. Control by Passetti at the Baltimore line. On left wing for Jamie Husky. He drove it in behind the goal. Sands himself swept it around the boards. Contained on the right point by Todd Flickle. Flickle shoots right on. Oh, Sands grabbed that one brilliantly with Jamie Huskin, the rookie from the <laughs> University of Illinois, Chicago, lurking on the doorstep on the attempted screen. 9.41 left middle period. 16 seconds remaining in the shed and hooking penalty. And the Jacks attempting to protect this two-goal margin at 3-1. to one. Jacks have allowed seven power play goals against in the last two games, spanning 13 opportunities for the opponents. 
They allowed four power play goals in Saturday night's 10-1 debacle at Binghamton in their most recent activity. And the night before that, the Jacks allowed three power play goals against when they were upended at New Haven 6-2. Lemieux in the face of with Brent Hughes. The ladder controlled it to the right point for Flickle. Left point for Dallas with a shot. Kicked out by Sands. And the rebound skids all the way to the Moncton line as Flickle couldn't catch up with it at the right point. Flickle to control there. On right wing at center for Husky who drove it in behind the goal. Shedden is back on. Tom Perales controls on left wing at center for Shedden. Barreling in over the Moncton line. Shedden's ready to goal with a shot. And he fired it wide as he elected to utilize Lemieux as the decoy with the ladder really romping in front. Back comes Moncton. At center of Baltimore line in the left wing corner is Nielsen. He was crunched there by Corrales and back come the Jacks. Shedden at center for Lomo. At the monk, the line on right wing for Lemieux and he was running on empty. He pulled up and couldn't reach the pass. But Shedden does. Shedden to the right point for Tebbit. Knocked away and it's a breakaway for the Moncton player. We have a very slow whistle on the two line pass. Boy, that was a slow whistle. The Moncton player, Brent Hughes, had a clear-cut breakaway. It appeared quite obviously that he was offside, and the linesman, Steve Horney, finally blew his whistle. And shall we say that Mr. Horney was very slow on the toot. Oh, Steve Horney up to his old tricks. That tooting trickster, Steve Horney, and he was very, very slow on the toot. I tell you, Brent Hughes' reaction was classic. He's dashing in all alone, and all of a sudden the whistle blows, and he's going, what's going on here? He thought it was a whistle from the crowd. Now Eve Heru through center, hits the Moncton line, jammed off, is stick by Omen. Omen on right wing at center for Moncton's Gord Whitaker at the Baltimore line. Whitaker fired. Sands nabbed that one. The rebound to the left boards for DeFazio. In the middle at center for Holmes. Beyond him into the Moncton zone. Covering in the left circle is Holman. Across on right wing at his own line for Whitaker. Whitaker just drove it to center where Dean DeFazio on left wing fired into the Moncton territory. Holman in front of the four checking Britt Pierre on left wing at his own line. At center zone, the pass was halted there by DeFazio at center. At the Moncton line on right wing for Britt Pierre and his drop pass for Haru was laid on the arrival, forces the Jacks offside at the Hawks line. No further play, a break of the action. 8.03 left, second period action. Jacks three, Moncton one on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. He was late, I mean, he's going all in alone, all of a sudden the whistle blows. Yeah, he's in. DeFazio likes to put on a show. Now from the face-off. At the Jacks line, Tim Thomas lost control to Flickle, who was trying to move right in on goal, and Tom Corrales stood his ground. He headmans it at center for Lomo. Over the Moncton line along the left wing board for Tim Thomas, who chases it down in the quarter. Thomas drove it around the board to the right point for Armstrong, pinching in top of the circle for Grew. He was checked by Gillen, and back comes Moncton. At center, Dory over the Baltimore line, right circle for Randy Gillen, checked by Grew, but at the right boards, Gillen centered in front, the Dory shot, a great save by Sands. The rebound to the left point contained by Dallas behind the goal for Gillen, Gillen centered in front, Jeffrey fired, kicked up by Sands. The rebound to the left point for Dallas, along the boards for Jeffrey, across to the right point for Facetti. Now Facetti, left circle for Dory. Dory was overpowered by Armstrong, who intimidated him. Dug out behind the goal by the Jacks, Tom Corrales. And he whistles it around the left wing boards, down ice. Dallas behind the goal in a rising snow shower to evade the check of the Jacks, Byron Lomo. Bobby Dallas along the lead on left wing at center for Hughes. That was disrupted by Don McGrath. And McGrath uh, fired it along the right wing boards, and I believe it landed in the Baltimore bench. No further play. 6.41 left. Second period, scoreless in the stanza. The Jacks retaining their two-goal grip on matters that they uh, constructed in the opening period after they uh, fell behind 1-0. 
3-1 Jacks. Holmes from Corrales and Haru at 13-32. Lomo from Tebbin uh, and Grew at 17-48. Perkins on a power play from Thomas and Tebbin at 19-39, all in the opening period. From the faceoff, the puck at the Moncton line. Controlled on the right side by Gord Whitaker, thundering to center over the ball to the line, centering it. Nielsen shoots, sends the save. Rebound, side of the goal. Hughes overpowered by McGrath. McGrath really crunched him clamorously in the corner, and the fight is on. Don McGrath has lost his helmet. He and Brent Hughes in a clenching tango. And there's some hair pulling by Hughes. Now that McGrath has lost his headgear, McGrath trying for the power slam on Hughes. It has resorted to a grappling spectacle at the moment. And now the linesmen will try to peel them off each other. And they succeed. Don McGrath for the Jacks, who was receiving, I believe, the initial penalty as he really crashed. Brent Hughes, the rookie left wing, into the Skipjacks right wing corner boards with a rude... Uh, robust body ringing check and both will depart Hughes will precede the ever uh, host with the most McGrath the time of this uh, melee the time of this altercation 1344 we have a break in the action 616 left second period still the Jacks three monk did one on the skip Jacks hockey network Moncton penalty to number 18, Brent Hughes. Two minutes for instigating and five minutes for fighting. Stick Jack penalty to number five, Don McGrath. Two minutes for holding and five minutes for fighting. Time of the penalties, 13.44. Moncton penalty to number 18, Brent Hughes. Two minutes for instigating and five minutes for fighting. Stick Jack penalty to number five, Don McGrath. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live with the Baltimore Arena. Here are the penalties. The Jacks, Don McGrath, two minutes holding, five minutes fighting. Moncton's Brent Hughes, two minutes instigating, five minutes fighting. Penalties called at 13.46. Neither team penalized skaters. They are concurrent seven minutes apiece. Face off right of Sands, Jacks goal. 6.16 left middle period, still 3-1 to one Jacks. Elaine Lemieux for the Jacks. And Randy Gillen for Moncton on the face off, the two captains. All ready to go, waiting for linesman Steve Horty. They present arms. One by Gillen, but springing out of the pack with it is DeFazio. He rushes to center circle, drove it in behind the Moncton goal, covering the carom in front of Lomo on right wing was Dallas. At his own line for Dory in the middle of center for Gillen, who reaches the Baltimore line, snapping the shot, and that was wide. The rebound behind the goal. Gillen was set, cracked. Shing into the backboards by DeFazio, and back come the Jacks. Lomo up the right boards at center for Perkins, who came across. Terry Perkins crosses the Moncton line, but Byron Lomo was in ahead of him, offside for the Skip Jacks. 5.49 left, second period, 3-1 to one Jacks, and the faceoff will be in the offing outside the Moncton line below us on the Jacks' right wing. 5.49 left, second period, 3-1 to one Jacks, a three-goal, first period come from behind resurgence to erase it early one nothing late in the three goals in a lightning like sequence of 607 in fact the latter two goals in a thunderbolt of a minute and uh, 21 seconds from the face off in the jacks left circle dean defazio the converted defenseman drove it to center zone Controlled there by Ron Facetti on right wing. He drove it into the Baltimore zone. Car charging after the carom was LaRose with a sharp angle shot and sends the save on the short side. The rebound. LaRose controls inside the line. To the right point. The screen shot through a forest of legs. And that puck just crawled into the crease. And Sands losing his stick. Sprawled in a spread eagle fashion to smother it. I believe we have a Jacks penalty coming up. There was a real log jam at the crease, and Sands had lost his stick amidst the congestion, and Sands off balance, appearing almost as if a contortionist was able to sprawl in a spread eagle fashion, 
and smother the puck. It's a Jacks interference penalty to Dean DeFazio. Both he and Greg Tebbett were laying down the law and order by way of laying on heavy duty muscle at the crease. DeFazio, two minutes for interference at 1440. Moncton presented its second consecutive power play of the period, their first two of the night, and they would like to capitalize here to gain some momentum and shave the deficit to a scant singleton. As the third period has been the Jacks' Waterloo here at home, they've been outscored 7-2 in the third period at home, and twice they have squandered three two-third period leads in their first three starts here at the Baltimore Arena. The second period has been the Jacks' best period at home this year, outscoring the opposition 4-3. Thus far, it's been scoreless in this stanza. Elaine Lemieux in the faceoff with Guy LaRose. The puck was dropped, but unfairly. And that'll produce an encore to the left of Sands. Elaine Lemieux for the Jacks, who's maestroed one short-handed goal already this season of the Jacks, two. Doug Shedden has uh, triggered the other. Incidentally, Moncton has scored four short-handed goals already this year. LaRose won the faceoff. Back to the right point for Passetti. Passetti to the left point for Ullman. Now Ullman holds. Along the left wing boards for Whitaker. Left point for Ullman. And right point for Passetti to hold it in. Watch by Lemieux. Now Passetti. Across to the left point for Ullman. The shot deflected by Gru harmlessly. Across to the right wing corner boards. Dug out by Lavasseur. Lavasseur to the right point for Passetti. The shot, Lemieux deflects it to the right circle where it's corralled there by LaRose. Now Guy LaRose pours through the circle. Back to the center point for Passetti. Passetti loads the gun, shoots right on. Stands the save and he'll lock it up between the pads with the big paddle. No further play. And Passetti's low ice hugging uh, blast seems to have momentarily stung the, stick, uh, the skipjack goaltender Sand. It seemed like it may have struck him on the right instep. And he's attempting to skate it off in a rather gingerly like fashion behind the skipjack goal. The face of the rigid eight circle left of Sands. Jack's goal. Jack's once outshot Moncton in the second period, 21 9. It's now 22 18. So Moncton has been gaining momentum on the strength of these two consecutive power play advantages. This is a pivotal point in the game for the Skipjacks. They'd like to preserve the two goal balls for the second intermission. Lemieux and Gillen. On the face of Lemieux won it, and he rolls it delicately between the two point men, Passetti and Omen, all the way down ice. Boy, that was a sleek, masterful effort by the count. Behind the goal, it's Passetti up on right wing in his own line for Omen up the board at center. Gillen, who hops it over the Baltimore line. Around Tebbett, swooping in behind the goal, left it for the trailer. It's Whitaker to the right point for Omen. Omen along the right wing boards for Mike Jeffrey. Jeffrey pours into the circle, shooting. Knocked down by Tebbett, who's been a rock of Gibraltar tonight. Tebbett throw it to center. Reclaimed there by Jeffrey. Old Baltimore line for Randy Gillen. Gillen sends Dory chasing it down to the right corner along the boards. Dory for Jeffrey across left circle for Flickel pouring it from the point and he fired it wide. The rebound right in front and Elaine Lemieux is there and he sweeps it down ice. 21 seconds for the power play, 341 for the period, still 3 to 1 Jacks. In front of the goal, they're underway at center zone. Randy Gillen fired it into the ball to more right corner. Corrales in front of Jeffrey, up the right boards for Shedden, who spins off the check of Flickle, pinching it for the point to send it down ice. Penley over to DeFazio, puck behind the goal. Corral by Monktons. Now they're underway at center zone over the ball to more line is Rob Fowler. And he was wrapped up from behind by Tom Corrales, but it doesn't matter. The Hawks are offside. A break of the action. 3.13 left first period. Jacks three. Monk did one on the skip jacks. Hockey Network. Who? That's okay. I don't think anybody's here tonight of any note. From the face-off, puck skids in behind the Moncton goal. 
tracked down by Flicko ahead of Shen. Todd Flicko just wrapped it off his own left wing boards of the Jacks line. Corrales controls. His rink wide pass seized at center by Nielsen, who steps it over the Baltimore line on right wing. And Len Nielsen's shot is deflected high and harmlessly into the end reds by Tim Hoover. That one's about a dozen rows up in the end reds. And a gentleman with a skipjack sweatshirt that is partially concealed by a denim blue jacket grabbed that one and he'll post it with a Miller Lite. And he's from Frederick. Boy, they come from all over to watch these skipjacks in action. Drove all the way in from Frederick tonight, which is quite a feat to be even, but and what, although it's not snowing, so it's, but it made his night. Face off will be rim of the circle. Left of Sands, the origination of that ill-fated Moncton shot. Albain Lemieux, who has been called upon by coach and general manager Gino Briaco to uh, be responsible for the faceoffs in the defensive zone all night long, will again assume a position. And it'll be Lemieux and LaRose, two French Canadian products, to buy, all ready to go. One by Lemieux, a falling Eve Haru on left wing. Sends the puck wiggling into Moncton territory. Tracked down behind the goal by Ullman. In pursuit is Pierre. Ullman up on right wing at his own line for Whitaker. Rick wanted left wing at center for Lavasseur over the ball to the line. Lavasseur wheels in behind the Jacks goal. Surrounded by Lemieux and Tebbett who rode him off. Puck still in behind the goal. Digging it after throw is Whitaker. Now Gord Whitaker back to the left point for Ullman with a shot. And Lavasseur in front deflected it wide. It comes up the Jacks left forge for a... Uh, Tim Thomas, who just drove it to center, and back comes Moncton LaRose over the ball of the board line. Spilled in front by Thomas, and the Jacks are away. Tevin on right wing at center for Pier. Brett Pier barrels it over the Moncton line into the corner, pulling up. He was checked by Ullman. Back comes Moncton Ullman up on left wing at his own line for Lavasseur. His pass seized at center with excellent anticipation by Greg Tevin, who's had a stellar game tonight. Tevin drove it in behind the goal. Perkins steals it, brought it in front with a shot. The save by Penny. Now Perkins behind the goal, centered it through the crease, left circle for Thomas, who fired it through the opposite side of the crease. All the way across to the Moncton left boards, where it's finally last so by Lavasseur. And as he was crunched to the ice by Grew, he drove it down ice, reached behind the Jacks goal by DeFazio, and Moncton is charged with icing. A break of the action, 123 left, second period, Jacks three. Month in one. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Baltimore Skipjacks Hockey Network. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live for the Baltimore Arena. 123 left, second period, 3 to 1, Jacks. They've been outshot 12 7 in this period, but no damage inflicted by the visitors from the Maritimes. It'll be uh, Heru and Gillen on the faceoff. One by Heru convincingly to the right point. Armstrong fired Penny the same, but he sprawls on the rebound. Aided there by Randy Gillen to the left side of the crease. No further play. Boy, that time the skipjack centerman, Eve Heru, uh, captured that faceoff convincingly. And he drew it back to the right point. The Armstrong shot was right on goal. And Steve Penny had to be very alert on that one. Haru and Nielsen this time on the faceoff. Gillen was lifted. One by Haru. Drove it right in on goal. Kicked aside to the right boards by Penny. Control by Dory. Peter Dory in the middle of the center for Nielsen who wrapped it in behind the Jacks goal. Sands himself whipped it in the left corner for Holmes. Mike Holmes just snaps it down ice. They'll nullify icing with a minute left in the middle period. Tracked down behind the goal by Bobby Dallas. A long lead on left wing at his own line for Gillen in the middle at center for Mike Jeffrey who darts it over the wall to line. Muscled in front by Armstrong beautifully and fired to center by Corrales. At center zone on right wing, Todd Flickle drove it around the skipjack backwards all the way up the right side for Armstrong who sends it through the legs of Dallas at the left point of the Moncton line as Dallas Pulled out Haru at center. Back comes Gillen at the Baltimore line on right wing. Gillen shoots right on. 
sends the save. He drove the rebound around the left wing boards for Michael Holmes at his whole line, and he's underway for the Jacks. Holmes across on right wing at center for Shed at the Moncton line. He rolled it on goal. Stick save for Penny with 17 seconds left in the period. Controlled in front of the goal by Dallas in the middle at center for Dory, who hits the ball to the more line, shooting. And Sands grabbed that waffling uh, shot after it appeared Greg Tebbett may have partially deflected, but it didn't matter. The Hawks were offside. Nine seconds remaining for second period action. Goalless in this stanza. The Jacks retaining their two-goal grip from the opening period comeback. Jack attack at 3-1. to one. Lemieux and LaRose on the faceoff. One by LaRose at the center red line. Facetti across the left wing for Oman who shoots right on. Sands reached eye high and brought that rocketing rising missile down, but it doesn't matter. Once more, this very youthful-oriented uh, collegiate influence Hawks team is offside. GM coach Rick Bonus shrugging his shoulders in the direction of the referee Paul Stewart on that uh, offside. From the faceoff at the Jacks line, Huskin was overpowered by both Perkins and Thomas who converged on him as the horn sounds signifying the conclusion. Canadian Stanley Cup hero, Mike Sands in goal to our right for the Jacks and from the faceoff. Controlled inside the spring for Moncton territory on the right side by Facetti. Now Ron Facetti chased by Lemieux, wheels laterally across the left wing at center, sailing it in behind the Jacks goal. Sands setting it up for DeFazio. DeFazio's clearing pass, stolen right circle by Gillen with a shot. Sands to say the rebound left circle, a shot by Jeffrey. And Sands closed the door on that one. The rebound on the Jacks left side, and Tim Thomas at his own line drove it in behind the Moncton goal. Perkins upended Ullman there, but covering the left corner, Pacetti. Ron Pacetti in the middle at center for Dory. Shy of the Baltimore line and right wing for Gillen. Spun around by DeFazio, but trailing Jeffrey heading into the Baltimore line, pulling up on the right board to the right point for Flickle with a shot. Stick save Sands. Rebound to the right porch for Dory. Into the corner for Gillen. Gillen back to the right point for Flickle. The screen shot. Tebbett deflects it harmlessly into the Baltimore right corner. But digging it out ahead of DeFazio was uh, the Moncton player, Dory. His pass was broken up neatly in the Jacks are away. Elaine Lemieux at center at the Moncton line and left wing for Perkins, who drove it in on goal. And he controls that one with the extended stick in the left circle for Dallas. Across on the right defense for Flickle. Todd Flickle just flings it down ice, reaching it behind the Jacks goal. Defense, but Ian Armstrong whistles, sounds. Hawks charge with icing. At the 124 mark for third period action, it's 3-1 Jacks, and the Jacks will attempt to avoid an early Moncton strike that would create some instantaneous momentum for the visitors. As we mentioned, the third period has been the Jacks' demise on home ice. They've been outscored 7-2 in the third period here at home, twice squandering 3-2 leads. The face-off circle right of Penny Moncton goal. Eve Heru for the Jacks. And for Moncton on the face-off, it'll be the rookie Len Nielsen, who had 100 assists last season with Regina in the Western Junior League. Nielsen won it. Control behind the goal by Ron Facetti. Stockton, hawked in front by Heru. Now Facetti left corner for Ullman. Checked by Holmes, who's had a strong game tonight, but covering in the back for is Nielsen. Nielsen clears to the line. Corrales raced across from his left to the right point and he tried to hold it in and I believe it was deflected off of Corrales stick and then Omen stick over the glass into the crowd as the two uh, met head on and that'll produce a face off barely inside the bunked line 18-19 left third period 3-1 to one Jacks Peru and Nielsen on the face off all ready to go. Puck is dropped, but unfairly as the linesman Rick Servi below us at the uh, Moncton Blue Line shrilled the whistle. So will that one encore. Eve Haru has assisted once tonight. His assist came on the game-tying goal by Michael Holmes that sparked the three-goal first period blurry. Pacetti to control behind the Moncton goal, dishing to the left wing corner boards for Ullman. Ullman's pass. At center, knocked down by Corrales. It comes back to Ullman. 
Roger Ullman at center, reaching the ball to the line on right wing, skated off by Shedden, controlled in the left corner by Corrales. He drove it around the boards, but waiting for the left side is Lavasseur. Lavasseur centering pass was weak, blocked by Armstrong, claimed behind the goal by Corrales, leading on left wing at center for Holmes, romping it over the monkey line. He dropped it right in front for Haru with a shot, and Ullman flung himself fearlessly in front of it to block it, and back comes Moncton. On uh, left wing at center zone, it's Jamie Huskin who drove it around the ball to the backboard to the right corner. Lavasur was there, but he overskated it. Contained at the right point, though, by Hervé. Hervé fired, score! On the deflection at the crease by Guy LaRose. And Moncton's back in business. They've shaved the deficit to 3-2. to two. And again, the Jacks were caught on an ill-fated clearing pass. And that's just what the Jacks wanted to avoid, an early strike by Moncton in this third period. And they connect to 233. I believe it was Guy LaRose who poked it home after the point shot. Time of the goal, 233. And Moncton is back in contention now. The Jacks' lead has been sliced in half to 3-2. to two, And this is just what the Jacks wanted to avoid, an early Moncton strike. The, play, or the Hawks have the only three shots on goal in the period. As we mentioned, the third period on home ice has been dreadful for the Jacks. From the faceoff, puck into the Jack zone. Gila Rose hurries after it, deep in the right corner, upended by Hoover. The two sprawl, the Jacks spring out. Britt Greer hurries up the left side at center, drifting it into the bunk to the left quarter. Coming across for it on the defense, Dallas in front of Piran No. Bobby Dallas around the boards, on left wing at center. Oh, the ball to the left for Fowler, cracked at the Jacks line by Lomo. And from the left wing boards, Dean DeFazio drove it down ice. Dallas will cover behind the Moncton goal. Now Bobby Dallas shadowed in front by Lomo, up on left wing at his own line for the Rose. Up the boards at center for Fowler, skated off by No, fleeced it off as Dick McGrath at the ball to the line on the right defense. Just hoisted into Moncton territory. Retreating with it behind the goal is Matt Hervey, who served 17 minutes of penalties in the second period. Hervey dishes to the left wing corner for Dallas, across on right wing at his own line for La Rose. Guy La Rose to center, darts it over the ball to the line. He was skated off in front by McGrath. And from the Jacks line on right wing, Byron Lomo drove it to the Moncton line. Todd Flickle controls in the middle at center for Fowler. He tried to reach the ball to the line, evading the check of McGrath, but failed to do so. McGrath rode him off. Controlled in front of the goal by the Skipjacks. On the left side, DeFazio, deep in his own corner. He just fired it off the boards into Moncton territory. Controlled in front of the goal by Ullman. Shadowed by Lemieux. Roger Ullman in the middle at center for Rob Fowler, who drove it in behind the Jacks' goal. Sands leaves for DeFazio, rounding the net as Sands was bowled over to the goal post by Dory. In the middle at center for Lemieux. Lemieux dances in over the Moncton line, right in front for Thomas. Thomas centers it to the crease, he shoots, he scores! Tim Thomas, Jacks lead, four to two. Slammed on the brakes and feathered it to him with a velvet touch. And Thomas just stormed through the left circle, swooping in behind the goal. And with a very elegant and impeccable wraparound technique, he just slammed it home at 4.23. Thomas second from Lemieux. And Dean DeFazio. DeFazio actually emanated the scoring thrust from deep in his own zone. And the Jacks have reclaimed the two-goal bulge just uh, less than three or less than two minutes after Moncton had made matters tense. Now Tim Thomas swoops in behind the Moncton goal again. Thomas wheels to the right boards, delivers it back behind the goal for Perkins. Perkins at the back boards, checked by Hervey, dug out by Dallas. Around the left wing board. Dallas at center for Gillen, who springs in over the ball to the line. Along the left wing boards for Jeffrey. Jeffrey centered for Dallas, the backhander right on. Stick to the side by Sands with Gillen parked at the doorstep. 
Dug out along the right wing boards by Jeffrey. Crunch by DeFazio. Jacks break out. Terry Perkins on right wing at center over the Moncton line. He dropped it for Holmes. Holmes right in front for her rule with a shot. Oh, and Penny takes a seat in the crease and smothers it. No further play. And the Jack attack is back on the beam. And the Skip Jack crowd warms to the occasion. The Jack playing with a lot of fiber and fabric tonight as they regain the two-goal grip. 150 after Hervey had scored from Lavasseur. At 2.33, the Hervey point shot found the mark all alone. It was Thomas from Lemieux and DeFazio at 4.23. Thomas' second goal, and they've both been scored in the last three games. From the faceoff, Todd Flick at his own line on right wing. In the middle at center for Lavasseur. The ball to the line in the left circle. For Hughes, the shot is right on. Sands kicked that one away in rapier-like fashion. But there will be a Jacks penalty coming up to Ian Armstrong as he dropped the Moncton high flying forward. A Jamie Huskin in a rising rooster tailing snow shower at the crease. And he'll be tagged with a holding penalty. Ian Armstrong for the Jacks, who has been an excellent find since being recalled by Hershey and reassigned by Philadelphia. Armstrong, two minutes for holding. At 5.41, Moncton is presented its third consecutive power play. And those have been their only three of the night. The Jacks enjoyed the first three power plays of the game. They are one for three. Moncton 0 for two thus far, 14.19 left. Armstrong for holding at 5.41, and the faceoff will develop circle left of Sands. Jacks goal. Lemieux. Lost it to Nielsen, to the right point for Pacetti, the shot, he banged it off the post on the short side. The rebound to the left point for Ullman, right in front, they score. Jamie Huskin, power play goal, and the Jacks lead again as shaved to one at four to three. Boy, was Sands asleep on the original point shot. Pacetti from the right point, boom to blast. And it struck the goal post on the short side. Sands did not have the angle sealed. And then he was off balance for the balance of the play. A power play goal at 5.48, just seven seconds after Armstrong was chased. And Jamie Huskin, I believe, is credited for it after the point shot from the left side. And it's 4-3, Jacks. And we've had a flurry of goals, three of them. In three minutes and 15 seconds, two of them by Moncton. Now from the faceoff, the puck to the left point again for Flickle. He whipped it in behind the Jacks goal. Crunched at the back boards, though, as Huskin this time by Corrales, who rubbed him out robustly. Corrales across to the right boards for Ian Armstrong, drifting it in front of the Moncton goal. Tracked down there by Pacetti. Leading it his own line for Nielsen and back to the right circle for Pacetti as the Jacks are forechecking. Now Pacetti chased all the way across to the left board by the persistent forechecking of Britt Peer. Now from behind his own goal, Pacetti just drove it to the Baltimore line where Corrales controls on the left defense. Tom Corrales just flings a rainbow in front of the Moncton goal. Covering up in front of the onrushing Byron Loma was Todd Flickle and he drove it to the Baltimore line. Claim there on the left side by Newell. Across on the right defense for Armstrong, who launches it down ice. Dug out the Moncton right corner by Pacetti. He whipped it around the boards on the left wing in his own line for LaRose. His clearing pass at center halted by Michael Holmes, who drove it right back behind the Moncton goal. It was Huskins third from Omen and Pacetti at 548. On the power play. Now Flickle from inside the Moncton line on the right side, just fired it down ice. Dean DeFazio to reach it behind the Jacks goal, and Moncton is charged with icing. A break of the action, 12.52 left. Jacks four, Moncton three on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. 
Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live, Baltimore Arena, face-off right of Penny in the Moncton goal. Eve Haru in the face of it, Randy Gillen. Haru control left boards for Shedden, back to the left point for DeFazio. His waffling shot blocked at the boards by Ullman on right wing at center for Gillen, streaking it over the Baltimore line, right in front for Jeffrey, and DeFazio rushed back and rode him off. The puck is loose in front of the goal, seized by Haru. Now Ivaru's pass seized in the left circle by Jeffrey with a shot. Sends the save. The Jacks are loitering deep of their own zone. Finally, Greg Tevitt very coolly and collectively deep of the right corner. Sails it into the Moncton zone. Controlled in front of the goal by Dallas. Bobby Dallas for Jeffrey on right wing at center. For Gillen at the Baltimore line. His shot was deflected by Tevitt in the left corner. Charging in after it is Jeffrey. Jeffrey drove it around the backboards, covering up in the Jacks' left wing corners. Holmes leaving in the circle for DeFazio. Dean DeFazio for the Jacks in the middle of center for Haru. Hits the Moncton line. Right circle for Shedden. He couldn't reach it. Doug Shedden chases it down in the corner. Thumped by Dallas. Contained right point by Armstrong with a shot, and he fired it wide. Rebound comes up the Moncton right board. Doris. Dory was really jolted by DeFazio as it skids to center where Dean DeFazio rolls it to the Moncton line. Bobby Dallas from center circle returns it into Baltimore territory. Tracked down in the Jacks' right corner by Shedden, who peeled back. Behind the goal for Armstrong. Ian Armstrong whipped it around the boards, but Pacetti from the right point. Fired Owen Lavasur in front, deflected it over top of the net. It deflects to the Jacks' right boards, and Shedden clears to center. Lavasur for Moncton on left wing, drove it back into the Jack zone. Corrales controls. Tom Corrales on the left wing at center for Shedden with a shot right on. Penny sticked it aside behind the goal for Pacetti with 11.07 left. Ron Pacetti left side of the goal to dish it to Dallas. Up the board to his own line for Lavasur. Rubbed out robustly by Armstrong, pinching in to force the issue in a very authoritative fashion. No further play in the Jacks defense, but Ian Armstrong forces a faceoff right at the Moncton line. A break of the action, 10.58 left. Jacks four, Moncton three on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Now from the face of Moncton controls at its own line. Flickle up the middle at center of the Rose on left wing at the Jacks line for Fowler. He was uh, jolted by Perkins. It comes back to center zone. Flickle on right wing. His pass halted along the boards in front of the Jacks bench by Tim Thomas. He tried to slip it along the boards for Lemieux. He was upended by LaRose, but trailing as Corrales over the Moncton line along the left wing boards left it for Perkins. Perkins with a spinorama just drove it cross ice to an open wing. Tracked down behind the Moncton goal by Flickle. Flickle directs it to the left boards for LaRose. Up the boards at his own line for Brent Hughes. On right wing at center for Pacetti, who steps it over the Baltimore line. But Guy LaRose is offside of the left wing for the Hawks. No further play. 10-16 remaining for regulation time. And the Jacks are clinging precariously to a scant 4-3 lead. To recap third period scoring, Matt Hervey on a point shot for the right side. Lavasur the assist at 2.33, and that, uh, of course, shaved the Jacks' lead to 2-1, to one. but 1.50 later, the Jacks responded resiliently, 4.23 the time, Tim Thomas from Elaine Lemieux and Dean DeFazio, uh, Thomas with a goal and an assist tonight, and the Jacks had regained the two-goal grip at 4-2, to two, but 1.25 uh, after that, and seven seconds after the Ian Armstrong holding penalty uh, had been uh, assessed, Jamie Huskins scored from Ullman and Facetti at 5.48. Now Randy Gillen springs out of the pack on right wing at center, crossing the ball to the line, pulling up at the board, centering one in front. The Jeffrey shot in a sprawling. Greg Tebba deflected it deep in the right corner where Wayne Grew tracked it down and sails it down ice. They'll negate icing. Deep in the Moncton corner this time. Ullman across the left wing at center for Jeffrey who reaches the ball to the line. His shot deflected harmlessly along the boards by Tebbett. Covering up on the left side inside the line was Dean DeFazio and he strokes it down ice for the Jacks. Reached beyond the Moncton goal by Roger Ullman and the Jacks and DeFazio charge for icing. 9.32 remaining for regulation time. 
and the Jacks nursing a fragile 4-3 lead. They have been minimized to the tune of only 12 shots on goal since the opening period. Moncton in that span with 19 shots on goal. Jacks outshot the Hawks 15-6 first period. Hawks uh, outshot the Jacks in the middle period 12-9. Thus far in this uh, third period, it's seven shots for the Hawks and only three for the Jacks. Face off circle left of Sands in the Jacks goal. Alain Lemieux for the Jacks in the face off. And he'll be opposing Len Nielsen. Won by Nielsen convincingly at the right point. The Pacetti shot is right on. Sands the save, the tantalizing rebound in front. And Lava Shore shot. Oh, and Sands dropping to his knees, reached Sky Brown and brought that one down. No further play. Sands may have nonchalanted that point shot uh, originally. He did not uh, make a special effort to secure the rebound on the original point shot by Ron Pacetti, and that allowed Chris Lavastor, the rookie from the University of Alaska at Anchorage, a glorious opportunity to equalize matters. Face off circle right of Sands in the Jacks goal. Mike Sands seems to have problems at times with his concentration. At times he almost appears a little bit lethargic and lackadaisical. From the faceout, Armstrong out of the pack on right wing at center for Shedney was drummed along the boards by a crunching check from Lavasseur. Back over the Baltimore line is Dallas. Dallas shoots right on. Oh, Mike Sands sprawling backwards in the crease in a gymnastic fashion. Spears that one, and he'll hold no further play. And that time, Mike Sands' concentration was absolutely superlative. Boy, Bobby Dallas, the number one draft of Winnipeg in 1984. And he hit the Baltimore line, guns a-blazing, and Sands had to be cut quick on that shot. From the faceoff, Hervey at the right point with a shot, and Lemieux stepped in front to deflect it into the corner, and we have a Moncton penalty coming up. I believe Tom Corrales to the left side of the Jacks' crease was yanked down, and there will be a Hawks penalty forthcoming at... 10:56. It will be a holding penalty, and I believe the culprit is Roger Omen again. That's three minors for Omen, the rookie of Winnipeg uh, defenseman, and he'll be chased at 10:56. And the Jacks would like their power play to percolate now to restore their two-goal grip. Omen's third penalty of the night. He had two tripping penalties in the opening period, and the second one at 19 minutes. Resulted in a skipjack power play goal authored by Terry Perkins at 19.39. Now from the face of inside the Monket line, Flickle at center. Just drove it into Baltimore territory. Controlled by Lemieux. He turned it over in the corner to LaRose, but Tebbett was there to intimidate LaRose off the puck. Claim behind the goal by Armstrong. Up the right boards for Shedden at his own line. Shedden across the left wing at center of Michael Holmes. He reaches the Monket line. He was cracked down robustly by Hervey, but trailing the play. Tebbett, he's ready to goal with a shot. Deflected into the corner by Flickle. Now Todd Flickle from behind his own goal will control it. Flickle had his own line on left wing, just wrapped it off the boards, down ice. 116 for the power play. Covering behind the ball, the board goal is Armstrong, leaving for Grew, rounding the net. Wayne Grew in the middle at center for Shedden, who hits the Moncton line. The drop pass was seized by Gillen. Gillen on left wing at center. He pulls up, maintaining control all the way back into his own zone with a rink-wide pass on the right defense for Pacetti, who drove it to center circle. Gobbled up there by Armstrong, who crosses the Moncton line on left wing. Armstrong drove it in behind the goal. Charging after it is Grew. Now Grew in the corner. Jammed by Dallas. Work loose by Shedden. Shedden to the right point for Armstrong. Left point for Tebbett. Now Tebbett holds. He launched it into the right corner for Grew, but over his head, he couldn't catch up with it. It caroms to the left boards, and Gillen is on the scene to fire it down ice. 27 seconds for the power play. Britt Peer at his own line for the Jacks. Now Peer on right wing at center for Perkins, knocked all the way back behind the Jacks, goal by an anticipating Brent Hughes. 16 seconds for the power play as Armstrong rounds the net. Armstrong on left wing at his own line for Tebbett. Seized by Nielsen with a shot. Right on. Sands the save. 
Hughes collides with Sands in the crease, and boy does he receive a welcoming committee. Wayne Grew, Ian Armstrong, Britt Peer are all there to defend and protect the dignity of Mike Sands as well as the integrity of that hallowed gold crease perimeter. Brent Hughes collided with Mike Sands in the crease after Sands had covered up, and boy, was there a welcoming committee to greet Mr. Hughes. A swarm of jacks converged on him and ushered Hughes from the gold crease to the backboards. In fact, they waltzed him into the boards in a less than, uh, shall we say, a friendly fashion. Brent Hughes, I believe, has been banished for the Hawks. The skipjack penalty box door has swung open. And there will be a Baltimore penalty as well. This skirmish occurring at 12.49 with the Jacks still having power play time for seven seconds. Sands is receiving the penalty. Sands and Hughes, two minutes each for roughing at 12.49. Sands did retaliate and shove back. Britt Peer will serve the minor. 7-11 remaining. The score, Jacks four, Moncton three on the skip Jacks. Hockey Network. Terry Ficarelli rejoining you live with the Baltimore Arena. Face up left of Sands, Jack's goal. It was to be Terry Perkins and Randy Gillen on the face up, but Perkins has been evicted. So it'll be Eve Heru and Gillen. 7-11 left, Jack's clinging to a 4-3 lead. Won by Heru, corralled behind the goal by Corrales, leaving it in the left corner for Dean DeFazio. Now opposite corner for Corrales, around the right boards for Perkins as Omen is back on. Perkins in the middle at center for Haru. He springs in over the Moncton line. He was spilled in front by Facetti, who whipped it to the line over the stick of Corrales at the right point to center. And Gillen is away over the ball to the war line, right in front for Dory, and he couldn't catch up with it as Perkins came across and cut him off. The puck skims right in front of the goal, and Holmes is there. Now Michael Holmes for the Jacks to center, dropping in over the Moncton line. He lifted it into the left circle for Haru, overpowered by Dallas. Back comes Moncton, three abreast. Omen to center at the Baltimore line, right circle for Gillen with a shot. He scores! Randy Gillen and Moncton ties it with 6.24 left, 4-4. Four, four. Randy Gillen from right on the dot in the right circle, snapped the pass, Sands low to the far corner. Now Moncton with a three-goal third period rally. Now forged a 4-4 tie, and as we mentioned before, the third period has just been the Skipjacks' downfall all season long at home. They've now been outscored 10-3 in the third period at home. And here tonight, 3-1 and 4-2 leads wiped out. Gillen with his team-high seventh goal of the campaign. Gillen from Omen at 13-26. From the face off, Armstrong rounds the skipjack net. Ian Armstrong at his own line. Up on left wing at center for Tom Corrales. He floats it into the monk to the left corner. Charging after it is Shedden. He was overpowered by Flecko, but Shedden steals it. Shedden right in front with a backhander. Penny the same, the rebound in front, and it snaked off the stick of Thomas. And back comes Moncton, three abreast. Husk in the center over the ball to the left wing for Lavasur with a shot. Oh, Sands the save, and Huskin bowls over Sands. It was low in a crouch in the crease. And Jamie Huskin is forced to deal with several skipjacks. Namely Armstrong and Shedden are on the scene. It was Randy Gillen, seventh, foremost on the club. The single assist to Roger Ullman at 13.36. Moncton with three third period goals, and the last two unanswered. And three to one and four to two skipjack leads 
have been obliterated here tonight. Face off, circle right of Sands and the Jacks goal. GM coach Gene Ubriaco, arms folded, just pacing behind the bench. 5.46 remaining for regulation time. It's a 4-4 tie. From the face off, Doug Shedden whirls in front of his own goal. He just rockets it off the right wing boards, down ice. They'll nullify icing. Covering behind the goal is Dallas. Now Bobby Dallas up the middle at center for Gila Rose. Drifting it in behind the Baltimore goal. Charging it after it is Jeffrey. Sands was there to intercede. Sands falls at the right goal post. And then Len Nielsen collides with the crossbar and lifts the net off both of its magnetic moorings. No further play. A break in the action. 521 left. It's Jacks 4, Moncton 4 on the Skip Jacks Hockey Network. Can't play three periods. We're just not good enough to play three periods. Now from the face off, a 4-4 tie. Puck in behind the Jack School. Sands blockades for DeFazio, leaving for Tebbit around the left wing boards for Terry Perkins. Perkins just drove it to the Moncton line. Circling with it as he curls back in front of the goal is Dallas to the right circle for Facetti and back the other way for Bobby Dallas. Dallas up the left boards at center for Roger Ullman who drifts it into the Baltimore left quarter. Covering up is DeFazio. Now Dean DeFazio, the transplanted defenseman up the boards at his own line for a grew. Knocked back behind the goal by Ullman, covering up Tebbit in front of Gillen. Tebbit around the left wing boards for Grew at his own line. His lead for Lomo, he overskates it at center and storming in over the ball to the line along the left board is Peter Dory. Back to the left point for Dallas. Dallas drove it in behind the goal and Tebbit is on the scene. Tebbit fired it around the boards on left wing for Grew. Grew at his own line. On right wing at center for Lomo, beyond him to the Moncton zone. Covering on the left defense, Dallas. Rink one on the right side for Hervey. Now Hervey at center for Gillen who hits the ball to the board line with a shot, he scores! Randy Gillen and Moncton takes the lead with 4.17 left, 5-4. Randy Gillen has sizzled a pair of goals in the span of two minutes and seven seconds in the waning moments, and Moncton with a four-goal second or four-goal third period outburst has vaulted into a 5-4 lead. Just as Gillen crossed the Baltimore line in the center avenue, he really ripped it upstairs over the left shoulder on the glove side of Mike Sands. 5-4 Moncton. Another agonizing night for the Skipjacks. From the face off, Lavasaur at center over the Baltimore line and it's offside on the two-line pass. No further play. Randy Gillen's second of the night is eighth of the season from Matt Hervey and Bobby Dallas at 15.43. Gillen striking twice in 2.07 to tie it and then untie it. And the Jacks trail for the first time since midway through the opening period. It's 5-4 Moncton. Agonizing moments for the Jacks. They have just, they just have been unable to perform in the third period at home. The third period has been an absolute disaster for them. Peru in the face off with Len Nielsen, 4.02 left. Sticks come down, puck not dropped, and Haru is asked to excuse himself by the linesman Steve Horney. All ready to go again. It'll be Doug Shedden and Nielsen. One by Shedden right in front. Haru fired it wide. The rebound to the right point. McGrath failed to hold it in as he was checked by Lavasur. Controlled at the center red line on the left wing by Doug Shedden. He drove it around the Moncton backboards. Charging in fourth there on the right side was Holmes. He was muscled by Lavasur who feeds in the middle at center for Nielsen. Len Nielsen darts it over the wall the line, working on Hoover, swooping in behind the goal, leaving it at the backboards bar for Huskin, but Jamie Huskin is uh, squeezed right there by McGrath. 
no further play. 334 remaining. It's Moncton five, the Jacks four. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Baltimore Skip Jacks Hockey Network. The Skipjacks have been outshot 15 to 4 in this dreadful third period. And they've been outscored 4 to 1 and 11 to 3 on home ice in their first four games in the third period. From the faceoff, Tom Corrales behind the goal. Up on right wing, it is Omai for Perkins. Across the left wing at center at Tim Thomas, who does a spin around and drove it in behind the Moncton goal. Flickel surrounded by Lemieux and Perkins. His pass seized in the left corner by Thomas. Thomas on the left point for Corrales. Right in front for Lemieux, who was behind the goaltender, Penny, at the crease, and it jumped over a stick. It's finally fired ahead by Ullman at the Baltimore line, and Moncton is offside. No further play. 3.07 rating for regulation time. That time, Tom Corrales from the left point fired the shot, and Penny was attempting to seal the angle, and the puck just sailed to the... Uh, Open side of the crease where Elaine Lemieux was parked behind the goaltender, Penny, and that puck just soared right over his outstretched stick. 3.07 remaining. And if we were playing two periods on home ice this season, the Jacks would be almost undefeated. It'll be Lemieux and Gillen on the faceoff. Randy Gillen with a pair of goals, 2.07 apart late in this third period. And it has dramatically changed the complexion of this one. Now Tebbett in front of the goal, up the middle, at center for Lemieux. Lemieux drove it in off the Moncton backwards. It carries into the right circle. Perkins shoots right on. Stick save for Penny. Rebound behind the goal for Gillen, clearing to the line. DeFazio to contain it at the left point behind the goal for Thomas. Right in front for Perkins, and he fired it wide. The rebound of the Moncton right boards for Dury. Peter Dory up the boards at center for Gillen, who just drifts it into the ball in the world left corner, swooping in after it is Omen. He was squeezed in the back boards by Tebbett, who rubbed him out. Controlled in the Jacks' left circle by DeFazio. He just drove it to center, where Matt Hervey fired it back in the ball to Moore's home. Tebbett comes across the control. Greg Tebbett in the middle at center for Perkins, who storms in on the Moncton line. Around Flickle, Perkins is right in on goal! Oh, and he backhanded over top of the net. The rebound to the right point for Armstrong with a shot. Penny the save. The rebound in front and no. Fired it wide. Dug out behind the goal by Pierre. Now Pierre left it behind the goal for Jean Francois. No. And the left goal post has been lifted from its moorings. No further play. Two minutes remaining. Oh, the Jacks had a glorious opportunity. First, it was Terry Perkins who just stormed in on right wing, swerving through the circle and streaking around the defenseman Flickle, only to watch his backhander just sail over top of the net. And then the Jacks continued to storm and swarm, but Steve Penny was on the scene and he has preserved uh, momentarily Moncton's one goal grip. Two minutes left. Hawks lead it 5-4. They've lost two straight on the road, and they've lost three of their first four starts abroad in an overall 4-4 four four record. Jacks have lost their first seven starts. Their worst start ever, matching their longest losing streak ever. Sean Francois in the faceoff, opposing Randy Gillen. Boy, Gillen has really logged an abundance of ice time tonight. Gillen has been evicted. Nielsen and no. Nielsen is a natural center anyway. All ready to go. Sticks come down. One by no. Here in front. Shoots right on. The save by Penny. Rebound. Skids all the way to the Baltimore line. Tracked down by no. Up the boards at center for Armstrong. Interrupted by Lavasur who drove it in behind the goal. 144 left. Covering behind the goal. Corrales. Tom Corrales for the Jacks. Leading on left wing at center for Britt. Pierre wrapped it in behind the Moncton goal. Penny out of the goal, swept it away from the onrushing Byron Lomo. And to the left wing boards where Lava Sewer was checked by Armstrong, who was charging him from the point to force the issue, and it deflected off Ian Armstrong over the glass into the crowd, and that'll force the faceoff outside the Moncton blue line across the way from us on the Jacks' right wing. 1.31 left. 
in regulation time, and the Jacks are embarking on an eight-game road mission after tonight. They'll launch it Friday night in Binghamton, Saturday night in Utica, Sunday night in Rochester. Jacks will not be back home again until Friday night, November 13th, when they entertain the Utica Devils right here at the Baltimore Arena. Elaine Lemieux for the Jacks and Len Nielsen for Moncton on the faceoff. One by Lemieux at the center red line. Greg Tebbett on right wing. Flings it into the Moncton zone. Covering deep in the left circle. Dallas, he drove it to the line. Tebbett fired it right back behind the goal. Dallas fired it around the boards again. DeFazio contains left point. Now Dean DeFazio into the corner of her shed and it didn't make it there. Stepping in along the boards to control is Nielsen at center for Lavasseur. Over the ball to the world line. The drop pass for Nielsen. Top of the left circle and he fired it wide. The rebound behind the goal. Tebbett clear to the line. Dallas shoots. He scores! On the deflection, Chris Lavasseur. And Moncton seals it at 6-4. Chris Lavasseur, I believe, deflected on the Bobby Dallas point shot with 101 left. A five-goal third-period powder keg detonated by Moncton. And the Jacks' travail will continue. I believe it'll be Chris Lavasseur with the goal, his first of the season. He's the rookie from the University of Alaska at Anchorage. Dallas contained the Greg Tebbett clearing pass that he had swept around the boards. And Dallas fired, and Lavasseur on the left hash mark, I believe, tipped it through. Goaltender Sands at 18.59. A five-goal third-period eruption by Moncton. Lavasseur from Dallas at 18.59. From the faceoff, Wayne Grew steps it over the Moncton line on the left wing from the top of the circle. That shot right on. Stick save, Petty. Rebound left wing boards for Grew. He drove it around the backboards. Corrales pinching it from the right point. Couldn't get there in time. Gillen did. And Randy Gillen fires it down ice. Tim Hoover to reach it behind the Jacks goal. And Monk did his charge for icing. Lavasseur from Dallas. And they have credited a second assist to Nielsen at 18.59. And for Chris Lavasseur, his first of the season. So the Jacks' losing streak will reach an all-time club record eight in a row. And many of the Skip Jacks fans agonizing over this one tonight. The third period blue funk here at home. The Jacks entered the third period leading three to one. But the Jacks again cannot assemble a full 60-minute effort. Five third period goals by the Hawks. Skipjack GM coach Gene Ubriaco will spend his 30-second timeout. I believe he'll lift the goaltender Mike Sands for the sixth attacker in a gallant bid to uh, regain contention. 34 seconds remaining in the third period, and it has been a total catastrophe. The faceoff will develop circle left of Steve Penny in the Moncton goal. Six attackers come over the boards for the Jacks. Elaine Lemieux, Eve Haru, Greg Tebbett, Wayne Grew, Doug Shedden, and Tim Thomas. Lemieux will be in the face of against Gillen. The skip Jacks goal to our right is vacant. Doug Shedden is the trigger man arc of the circle over Lemieux's left shoulder. Lemieux and Nielsen on the face off as Grew and Tebbett try to power for position as they're maneuvering across the slot uh, at the hash marks. Waiting for the linesman, Steve Horney. Lemieux and Nielsen. Sticks come down. One by Lemieux. Right in front for Haru with a shot. Penny the save, the rebound in front. Tebbett fired and Penny falling backwards across the goal line. Smothers that one with Eve Haru. Landing on top of him, no further play. Boy, Lemieux won the face off, and Haru just charged from the right wing boards to the net. And the count pinpointed it to him, but Eve Haru was robbed at point blank range. And then the rebound slithered loose, and Greg Tebbett tried to force a shot through the congestion, and Penny. 
Again, in the low crowd to an excellent concentration, close the door. Another face off left of him. Lemieux and Gillen. Sticks come down, puck not dropped. Take two. Lemieux and Gillen one more time. One by Lemieux. Top of the circle for Shedden to the right point for Thomas. Thomas drove it in behind the goal. Haru couldn't reach that. It's covered instead by Pacetti. And Ron Pacetti just fires it down ice. Thomas reaching it behind the Jacks goal. And Moncton is charged for icing with 12 seconds remaining. They've outshot the Jacks 16 to 8. Make it 16 to 9 in this third period. And they've outscored the Jacks 5 to 1, including the last four goals in a row. Huskin, a pair by Gillen, those are the two that broke the Jacks' spirit. 207 apart. The second one uh, shattered the 4 4 tire that Gillen had created uh, moments before. And then with 101 left, Lava Sewer uh, was able to guide home a Bobby Dallas point shot. Face off right of Penny in the Moncton goal. Lemieux and Gillen on the faceoff. One by Gillen to the right boards. Dore banked it off the boards. Down ice. And Lavasur will score. No, he misses the empty net. He had a wide open net. This hockey game is over. But the Longton Hawks on the strength of a five goal third period rally have defeated the Baltimore Skipjacks.